How are you guys doing? Hmm? You guys doing good? Let's get right to it. We're gonna start a little early. Say fuck it. I wanna play some Hogwarts. I wanna play some Hogwarts. You guys wanna figure out the rest of this creepy quest. Just like I do. Sorry I've been gone the past few days. Um Well I, I said past few days of streaming. Ah, uh, so it leaves us right there. Okay. Well, Oh, that's right. I gotta send a I gotta send a picture of the drip to uh to a buddy of mine. Hold on. Hold on, let's, let's hello? Protego! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> am I am I that out? Oh god, hold on. Let me send this picture real quick. I gotta do it. I gotta show him the drip. The, the sick, nasty drip we got going on. Oh, yeah. We gotta, gotta do this. Gotta do this. Boom. Boom. I gotta show him what's up. He's playing Hogwarts, uh, he's, he's been playing Hogwarts pretty much at the same pace that I have been, to an extent, story-wise, anyways, he has. But, uh, he's nowhere near as far on the side stuff as I am, I mean. Ooh. Ooh. God, I love that it glows like that. Maybe I'll turn the music down just a tiny bit for myself. You need more than you've learned from books to best me. Well, I mean, I already did that route. So, onward to the webs, shall we? Mm. Is this place creepy? Yes. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? Nope. You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. Depends on the type of foliage? I mean, it really does. Isn't there... <laughs> I mean, there's literally those one vines that <laughs> survive solely in the darkness. They hate the light. Oh god. I don't know where I'm going, why I'm going. Ooh. Confringo. Money. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to go that way eventually, but nope. Uh-uh, not right now. That one had mannequins. Alright, so I gotta get a lamp there. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, good, I'm trapped. Fantastic. Oh! Very nice. Throw something at me? Doors opening by themselves. No, thank Rebellion. you. I've got to get back in the swing of things, chat whole lot of moving tile. Fuck. And this would be why. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Knight to H3. 
Nighty night. <laughs> That was the wrong square. Revelio. Mm. Okay. You got a, a path. Uh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. No. Revelio. So here's his. Mm. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh. I wonder if the chess pieces on the board indicate where I can't go. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I'm trying to path around there, all right? The obvious choice. Okay. I can't I can't go through here. I'm I'm looking at these reds, right? You know, I can't go through here. Fine, whatever. Best pieces indicate where I can't go. Got it. Revelio. So are these red pieces. Okay. The the issue then becomes Wow. <laughs> As you can tell. Oh. Perhaps I can find a way to reveal the path. Wow. Thanks, game. I'm not stupid, I know. Reveal the path. The problem is chess pieces are in the Rebellion. fucking way. They're in. Away. Defender. Oh, no, that didn't work. Revelio. All right. So, you know, red, 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 red chess, not red, but also death. Um, death, more death. Still death. Hey, huh? I just want. Can I? Ooh, I wonder. Um. Flipendo. Oh. Akio. Oh. Oh. How? Oh. Revelio. Oh. Well, hello there. Hello there. General that wasn't too difficult. Oh, no, it really wasn't, but it's a figure out you can use the fucking corners. Fuck. No more, no more loot. Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. Um, I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. No, please don't. Let me go. <laughs> just, I just want to run a shop. It's, it's my biggest, biggest dream. I want to run a shop in Hogsmeade. Okay. Fuck. I don't want to play with mannequins. Honestly, it's quite creepy. Oh. So we take that one. Yes, yes, yes. So then the question remains. We just take. We just. We just. Nope. All right. If I take that away, it disappears, right? Well, that explains that. There's the lamp I need. Oh, my nose itches. I blame you guys. It's all your fault. All right, that's one. And oh, mannequins. Oh, 
They can't chase me if they're all broken. can't fling at me if it's broken. Ooh, don't think I didn't see you, mannequin. Fuck you, soundscape. Oh. <laughs> Nope, <laughs> nope, mm. nope, 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 no, 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 double back make sure um uh Jeeves I, I know it's not your name but like oh I'm afraid of the dark um well Doesn't not worry you that uh, I can see you, you but you can't see me Wingardium Leviosa it oh. should look you look, I'm surprised this is all inside of a chest in the basement of a fucking shop. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. <laughs> Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable for what's in store, do I? Well, that, it depends on what's in store, man. Lumos. Ooh. Edge of Eternity. Lumos. Okay, so we got a couple different doors to go through. I'm curious. It's behind door number one. Hmm. The lantern necessary. Nope, 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 nope. You're not throwing things at me, Jeeves. Ow, fuck. Yeah, you are. Ow. Mm -hmm. I failed. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't start with me. Whatever fucking your name is. No. <laughs> I can target it. No. Why? Why? No. But if 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 no if no go here, then why where go? at all <laughs> you fuck you mannequin <laughs> oh you're not gonna fuck with me motherfucker you're not gonna fuck with me hey maybe that door's open now For open doors. Yeah, I say when one door opens, another one closes, right? Or it's the other way around, right? <laughs> when one door closes, another one opens. All I know is doors are opening and closing. Why? Hmm. Excuse me. However, the door that I need is not 
open. Chat, am I just stupid? I mean, don't answer that truthfully. Oh. Of a ball. How does one get? Hmm. Hmm. Yep, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. What if I have to go? I gotta sneeze. Oh, can't go back that way. Surprise! Come back! <laughs> That's where the lantern was. That's where the mannequin tried to choke me. I'm not into that, Mr. Lantern. Or mannequin. puzzles yeah yeah whatever stop it stupid ghost Just a, wait just a goddamn minute. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. How did I not see this here? You son of a motherfucking. Because <clears throat> I didn't Revelio, is it? Yep, it's because I didn't Revelio. Chat, why didn't you tell me to Revelio? How many doors are here? I don't. What's gonna happen? Doors are gonna slam. Ah, a worthy Call it. Well done, me. Nope, nope, nope. Potato, stupefy. Nope, stupefy. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, uh -uh. no! Nope. Get out of here! No! Nope. Potato, stupid! Stupid! Come on! Stupid! Got any more to send after me? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> Mm, don't close the lights on me when you just set mannequins after me, please. No, stop it. Stop it. Come here! Stupid door. Come on. Why are you getting further away? Lumos. This quest is so well done. My god. These doors weren't there before. So that door is open. What's at the... Okay, nothing. Got it. Alright, it's this door or nothing. Nope. 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 Lumos. Oh. Nope. Lumos. Mm -mm. Oh, 
look, a lantern. Uh, how many mannequins am I gonna have to fucking fight through for this one, huh? The answer is none. I'm done. Great. With this segment. Oh, man. <laughs> Rebellion. This quest is creepy. Oh. Oh, it's really just this. Okay. Alright. Ready! Time to raise the stakes, so to speak. Where, uh, where shall I put this? The table! Where, uh, where shall I put this? Where, uh, where shall I put this? Done playing your games, Poltergeist. Great. Great, it had to be the mannequins. Stupid. Cool, actually. It has no effect on these guys, but it was the feet, and I need the feet. Alright, Poltergeist. Now that should get your attention. Well, this has been fun. Much to do, much to do. See you in a bit. Bitch slap me. Motherfucker. Threw shit at me, sent mannequins after me, and then bitch smacked me. I can't even kill those? You motherfuckers. Nope. Oh, good. It seems that the doors are locked. Fantastic. Yeah. As long as it was just Wigan World potions. This ain't creepy at all. Entire thing ain't creepy at all. That lady I bought this shop from owes me big time. Like, big time. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I see an enemy signal to you. Remington? Aha! Finally! You, my inordinately clever friend, appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now and agree to give me unfettered access through the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. You get your shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! You fucking kidding me. Catches cat guy? I mean, you can't! Protego! Well, that's round one. Now what are you doing? 
Is that? I'm trying to make a golem out of this. Stupid. To Pulso. Glacius. Potato. The Binder. Pinbringo. A bigger golem. Oh, come on, man. Oh, there's the mannequins. Potato, stupid defender, confringo. Stupid one, glacier. Stupid one. I like that it acts a lot like a troll. Ow. Potato. Stupid one. Stupid one. Just once, try seeing things from my point of view. Well. Oh no. <laughs> This is cool. Well, well. Oh, Finally, man, that's someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. <laughs> you call that fun? I enjoy a good challenge. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about the contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Okay, what are the terms? Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait. Did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. Hmm. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about Hmm. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I want out of here. <laughs> I want out of here so bad. <laughs> I don't like this thing. I don't like it. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, good. Fuck that chest. Penny, I hate your voice, but I'll talk to you. I need to. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny... Please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Yeah. 
You should have told me the truth and punished yourself as necessary. I need to go oh, and I find like off an Penny is so sorry. Penny wanted to tell you everything. Truly. Surely Officer Single will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Hmm. Felt kind of shitty about that response. I didn't think it would go that route. I just, I just wanted to scold her for lying to me. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want her to punish herself. Fuck. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I. Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. Well, yes, she said she did, but I think you might have missed the bit about the dungeon. No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Oh, we shall. Cassandra! You're in trouble. You evil son Sometimes of a bitch. Sometimes all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yes, I know all... Look, oh, fuck. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that she you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now, they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stop her! I should have known better. Don't be the one that wily student. Defender. Confringo. Glacier. What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? Oh, quite a bit. Oh, fuck. Well, he's all of it. <laughs> I should have known better than to do business with a wily student. Defender. Protego. Confringo. Oh, hey. Got her. Ah, I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Second that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Silencio. <laughs> oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. I'm gonna collect these eggs. Uh, all right, let's head back to the shop. <clears throat> cool. How does how does the uh, how does the shop work? Is this like a, a new source of income that I realistically don't actually need, but kind of want anyways? Penny. Ugh. Penny. Oh, you're in the building. Okay. 
Penny! Hey. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Do I let Penny go? I, I don't like her voice, but do I let Penny go? Like, does she run the shop, like, while I'm away out doing shit? I... I, 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 I don't know. I look forward to working with you. I'll All keep that's her. left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. Oh, shit. Festers and Venom, Clydewell and Brewster, Stitches and Droughts. Um... <clears throat> I don't like any of these. I really don't. I guess we'll do Vesters and Venom. Oh, Cl uh, Clydewell and Brewster. I mean, that, that just sounds like a bad law firm. Stitches and Droughts, like... Am I se I'm selling clothing and potions, right? So, I mean... Ugh, fine. I choose stitches and drafts. Excellent choice. Drafts? Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny. We'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. Okay, okay. Okay. Nice. All right, we got a shop. Where am I on combat? How many do I need? Nine more dug bogs. Two more infamous foes. Several more spiders. God, okay. Three mongrels. Six more dueling, or five more dueling feats. All right. Fine. Fine, I suppose. Twist my ear, why don't you? Oh, additional content. Here we go. The shopkeeper shit. All right. Nice, nice. All things considered, I already have the trophy for using Ancient Magic on every enemy, so I don't got to worry about that. Um, uh, so I need to find that last, uh, that last broom from there. The other one's part of the, the challenge, which was fine. Mm, I like that. I don't like it one bit. So I just max this out. Let's do that. Like, I don't care for the perfect protagos because I don't fucking do it half the time. I don't use stealth anymore. <laughs> Too powerful. <laughs> uh, why don't we grab this? Yeah, why don't we do that? Inventory. Nothing really worth a damn. All oh, shit I can sell. All right. Can I sell it to my shop? <clears throat> is, that a, is that a thing? <laughs> is, is, is that what I can do? Let's go to, let's go to Poppy Sweeting. Where's she at? 
Poppy! She's in Hogwarts. Probably... Yeah, okay. Right where I thought she was. Safe. Yeah, let's also get this out instead. Poppy. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house. Our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Hmm. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Hmm. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We That's need fine. allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Mm. <clears throat> they may be too hostile to help, but I think they will. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Quite. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Of course, of course. I'll let you know when I have a plan. Okay. Uh, there is another... quest. Speak with Maddie outside the divination classroom. Imagine how inconvenient yes, travel Yes, yes, I know. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. 
She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you, and she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. Damn. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. I'm gonna egg her on. <laughs> she never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Hmm. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Hmm. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. So adapt to any situation. <laughs> How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Hmm. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> oh, she she's claims not wrong. that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> look. <laughs> I'm always egging my friends on. <laughs> Fuck. Sebastian, I'm egging him on to, to the, the, the dark magic, the forbidden curses. Uh, Poppy, I'm egging her on to continue with this whole poacher business. Natsai, I might as well egg her on. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Yeah, goodbye. I'm assuming you'll send oh, me an owl. Nice to see you, my young friend. What's up, guys? Fuckers. Okay. Um. Hmm. I know where there is a side quest. I think I'm finally just going to take it on. Oh, look at all that. Jesus.
take it on. <clears throat> it's one of those like you're just in a hamlet and Maruim. Oh, it's this place. Okay. All right. I remember this place. It's like a place right out of a storybook. It's probably is. Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. Ah, uh, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Oh boy. Seems you're more concerned with the feathers than the bird. But she'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Well... Um... I'll keep an eye out for a large white Derricle. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. There's no way my and headphones are on battery low. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Okay, which den? Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the... Probably. And it is nighttime, so... I suppose I should watch for Gwenaira. At <clears> night, apparently. Not now, Doug Bog. Not now, troll. I'm on a mission. Very important mission. This must be the Dirical Den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now, where is Gwenaira? Oh, you mean this giant white Dirical? Okay, that was um Got her. Now I need to let Miss Moffat know. Hmm. Oh. Oh, there they go. Hi. How about you? Are you a shiny? Another of you are so. All right, fine. Ooh, what about you? About. <laughs> what about you? You're a sheep. <laughs> Literally. Motherfuckers. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna get uh, yeah, shiny Duracol. All right, lady. Because I don't care that much, I actually don't remember your name. Who lives here. Oh, hello. Hello. Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible. Was it terribly difficult? No. Uh, I mean, yes. She was difficult to track down, but I managed in the end. Believe me, I know. Well, may I have her now? What a fee. For a fee. Yes. But I'll be expecting payment first. I suppose that's fair. I'm well aware of how difficult she must have been to catch. She has such exquisite plumage. Oh, I shall make the f 
finest attire from her feathers. And she'll have a good life too, of course. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much for bringing me Gwyn Naira. I shall keep her safe and only oh use my. her feathers sparingly. Hold up. Hold up, chat. Hold up, chat. Chat. What, what was... What is this? Oh... <laughs> oh my lord. Yes. What's this? Oh, that's some Rivers liaison. Oh, uh one thing I never checked is where is it? 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 Why? Astro robe, Kraken cloak. What is this? No. The fuck? Come on. Really? Where's my Merlin's cloak? What the fuck? I don't know. I got that thing fair and square. Drops and rewards. Okay. Drops and rewards. Where are you at? There you are. Merlin's cloak. Game account connected. I see. Yeah, it's. Where's my Merlin's cloak? I don't. <clears throat> Oh, these are it. Yeah, none of these are it. What the fuck? I'm a little disappointed about that. Quite a bit disappointed. Very disappointed, chat. I am. I want my cloak. I want it. Nope. Tell me I can't have it. Does it make me happy? Does it make me happy in the slightest? Revelio. Oh, here's a oh, pleasant oh. surprise. Ah, uh, hold on. Festival. Yep, ball and hole. Where's ball? Ball is 